Hey, Polo. I've been a pro musician since 1973. Please could you review Gary Moore playing Empty Rooms live in Stockholm, 1987. It is considered by many musicians to be the best electronic guitar solo of all time. My grandparents had a bakery in Pangbourne, Berkshire, a few hundred yards from Jimmy Page's house, which overlooked the beautiful Thames River. This is the house where Led Zeppelin first got together. All right, while I'm in no position to judge what's the greatest guitar solo of all time, of course, at the end of the day, it's subjective, okay? But if there's a lot of people, especially if it's prominent names that are considered to be the top of their class, all kind of like saying, you know, this is one of them, if not the one, then it's going to be a fun listen. I don't really know what I'm getting into today. Just want to press play on this one. Let's get into it. Do me a big favor and like the video if you like the video. Let's go.
there are some musicians out there that can grab an instrument and they can make it do things that you forgot it could do or you didn't even know it could do, all right? And in this case, right from the beginning, I love how it kind of starts off like a motion picture performance, like a like a film, you know what I mean? Like with these, the fog and the silhouette and the camera angles. So that was an added bonus on top of watching the performance. Um, the thing that shocked me the most, I knew I was going to get some guitar playing, but I was more shocked by his stage presence, his vocals, you know, all, all that on top of, you know, some people are one trick ponies. They can only do one thing very well or two things. And uh, this seemed to be a full package. I enjoyed the guitar solo, of course, of course. Now, I don't play the tambourine. I've never even played Guitar Hero, so I'm in no position to judge whether or not this is the greatest uh, guitar solo or one of the greatest guitar solos that I've ever seen. I've stated in another video that to me, once you reach a certain level, they're all guitar gods, you know, whether your favorite is, I mean, you pick them, my personal favorites. Um, and I, I don't know if Adam Jones is my favorite live performer, performer when it comes to uh, guitar, but I, I definitely love his style. So he's up there, but live performance, I can say for sure, David Gilmore. Okay. Or Pink Pink Floyd. I just love his style. Uh, he just goes to a different place once he goes into that zone. And this kind of brought me there. You know, they both, not saying that they play alike, but they have like that sexy signature style. I love the way their guitars are tuned and just the way that they arrange their, their, their solos. Forgive me, I don't, I don't know uh, musical terminology. I'm just an average Joe on YouTube. And I, again, another thing I loved was his, uh, his, his stage presence, his vocals, the guitar, the song itself. The song was amazing. I never heard the song before. Uh, so I even enjoyed the song. So I was getting a lot. I love the video. I love the performance. Um, I love the way he can make that guitar cry. He's one of those guitar players that could pretty much make the guitar do whatever he wants it to do because there were just certain parts on this where it just makes you, you know, the hairs, if you have hair on your arms, makes him stand up a little bit because he just really, really... Um, kills this performance so uh, overall i love the band i love the performance i love the song and it's something that i would definitely listen to in the forerunner shout out to the supporter that requested this as it was very enjoyable if you guys like the video do me a big favor and like the video if you want to stay up to date whenever i post subscribe and hit that notification bell peace